Welcome back to Daytime here on Rogers Television. Well, we're continuing on our conversation with Robert, who is now going to reveal just how many inches Rosie has lost since she started. Robert, you done the calculations? How yeah, many? So basically it was 16.75 inches in <gasps> about two months. Amazing. And that's all the measurements combined, right? Yeah, that's all the measurements combined and uh, the, the total from her before to after. That's amazing. What about pounds? How many pounds has she lost she, so far? She lost 37 pounds so far. So she went from 272 to uh, 235. Wow. I know. Huh? That's really, that's really, really good. Way to go, Rosie. And only two months. You know, I mean, that, that's incredible. Um, okay, Robert, we specifically were intrigued to talk to you about I mean, you've written so many great articles on weight loss and fat loss and how to achieve it and what things people are doing wrong. Yeah. And we wanted to ask you some of these questions yeah, because we do sure. a lot of, you know, here's the exercise, this, that, the other, but we don't talk about the science behind it. And you really do. So um, you've, you've written a good article, a great article called nine things I noticed about weight loss failure all right yeah. now is if it's all right with you we'd like to go through some of these points and get you to describe why you say such things yeah, okay absolutely. first one <laughs> um, if done incorrectly it can cause serious rebound effects what does that mean exactly yeah normally when a, a typical person starts a diet uh, right away they always lower their carbohydrates and they lower their mm -hmm. calories and your body's actually gonna fight against that because okay. um, everyone has what we call a, a BMR, a basal metabolic rate, and that's basically a, a rate at which, uh, it's a caloric rate at which your body needs to sustain its functions throughout the day and to sustain the most important thing for metabolism is muscle. Okay. So a lot of people will automatically start dropping their calories and start dropping the carbohydrates, and that, that basically goes against what the body really needs to do to turn on your, your fat burning ability. Very interesting. Yeah. I never would have thought of that. Okay, the next one we have. The first week of initial weight loss is all water and glycogen, not fat. Yeah, exactly. So when, uh, when someone starts to lower their carbohydrates too much and they start to um, uh, lower their calories as a result, usually when you lower your carbs, you automatically lower your calories, mm -hmm. but people will actually lower their calories on top of lowering their carbohydrates even further. So what will happen is um, they'll... The, the muscle, all the tissue in your body is most, well, the body's made up of 75% water. Mm -hmm. So that tissue, you get uh, a release of, of water and glycogen. Glycogen is a stored form of uh, energy inside the muscle tissue okay. and also some of uh, the liver as well. So as soon as you start to um, lower those, those two main things, you start to lose a lot of water. <clears throat> and that happens initially within your first, first week and sometimes it goes into your second week. It depends on the person. Okay, I have a question. Sure. Along the same lines. I mean, speaking from a female, water retention is one of the worst things to make you feel huge. And I mean, what about in that situation? Sometimes when you're retaining water and you feel you feel awful because of that, isn't it a good thing to lose water? Uh, instead of lowering your carbohydrate, yeah, sometimes, yeah, it's a good thing to, to relieve that extra water. But what you should do for that is you should actually drink more water. Okay. Because more water, your body turns on. Uh, turns on an enzyme, uh, in your, your body turns on enzyme, which helps your body flush out more of the water that you're okay. holding in your body. So, so you're speaking of water in drink. terms of regular amounts, normal right. amounts, not in a bloated situation or a water retention situation. Yeah, usually, usually around uh, two, liters of, two liters a day okay. of water if you're feeling bloated. Sometimes you can go around three liters if you're feeling bloated. You'll see that you'll be in the washroom for, yeah. okay. <laughs> for a while. Good That's a good sign. Uh, here's another good one. Diets are a temporary solution to weight loss. Why is that? Um, well, the typical diet that someone will go on, they'll always try and lower their calories too, too far down, which is below their basal meta metabolic rate, which is negative for, for people. And they'll always try and, and lower their calories as well. Um, it's bad because basically um, the, you should basically start making more of a lifestyle change. So instead of eliminating, um, you, you should eliminate the junk food, but some people take it a lot, uh, much further and start eliminating from the four uh, basic food groups that we need right. mm -hmm. to get all our vitamins and minerals. And people like, automatically el eliminate breads and, uh, breads and cereals. They automatically el eliminate milk and milk products. But you need to keep those in your diet because what happens is if you start eliminating stuff like that, your body's going to start turning off other enzymes uh, to, help, to help absorb 
nutrients uh, of that aspect found in those particular foods. So that's why you've put Rosie more on this this entire lifestyle change rather than yeah. just a workout regimen, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's also uh, a diet that uh, that fits into her her own goal for her lifestyle that she wants to pursue. So it, it's all integrated into into who she wants to. I guess what her goals want to be or who she wants to look like in the, in the right. future. Um, just uh, as a sort of last question here, Robert, uh, I don't want to make sure we run out of time. You talk a lot in your articles about specifically focusing on fat loss, like you said, not water, not glycogen, not muscle yeah. loss. How do we target specifically fat loss? Specifically, you, can, you need to have exercise, so mm -hmm. you need to make sure you're exercising because the most important thing for fat loss is your body has to maintain its muscle tissue. As soon as you start losing muscle tissue, you start your body goes backwards. So it mm -hmm. starts to store it starts to store fat because that's a, an emergency type state for your body. And it's saying as soon as it sees that it's breaking down uh, some one of its vital tissues such as muscle, it automatically starts to to work backwards and store body fat and s store energy that it needs to see if it could feed that muscle. So um you, you basically have to uh, keep your calories um, at your basal metabolic rate or, or a little higher, and you have to uh, make sure that your carbohydrates are around 60% mm -hmm. of what your uh, total calorie intake is for is for the day. And a good calculation that I can.